Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm now delighted to be joined by Chris Burchett, SVP of Product Development at Blue Yonder. Chris, such a pleasure to be with you here today. It's great to be here with you, Ryan. Really uh, looking forward to it. Let's dive in. Blue Yonder is the world leader in digital supply chain transformation. How is AI changing the game for your customers? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Blue Yonder uh, has been doing AI for over a decade, predictive wow. AI. Wow. So at scale, we've been running over uh, 20 billion uh, AI predictions a day. That's uh, incredible. Yeah, and our AI, it, it solves problems for customers around inventory management. Uh, it helps them deliver orders on time. It gives predictive insights for where they should be focusing uh, you know, to meet their capital and business objectives. Uh, and you know what we found last year was really exciting was our customers really had an appetite for generative AI. They wanted to dig in and uh, we did a survey and 80% of them were piloting some form of generative AI. Hear. Yeah, and 91% of them found it was very effective for the supply chain. Love that. So I think what you're going to see with AI is it's, it's really going to decide winners or losers. You know, there's going to be, if, you, if you're not in the game, it's going to become a problem for you. Chris, how is the AI Data Cloud's ease of use empowering Blue Yonder to deliver more value to your customers? Traditionally, uh, supply chain software was uh, pretty siloed, and that's because of yesterday's technology. It didn't really scale. Uh, and so when we built out these systems the first time around, when I was starting in the industry, <laughs> they were departmental. They couldn't span the company and be end to end. And so several years ago, we looked at Blue Yonder, we, we said, well, how could we reimagine these solutions in an intend way across the enterprise or even multiple enterprises? And if you could do that, you could optimize in such a better way for customer outcomes. And so we went looking for a technology that was modern and really was built for AI. And we found that in the Snowflake AI data cloud. I got to tell you, right from the start, it scaled. It was cost effective for us. It was easy for us to onboard our workloads to. And it became uh, a really foundational platform within our ecosystem and within the architecture that, that I, I led, uh, you know, putting in place. And what was even more exciting to me, frankly, was because, you know, great technology is out there, but really what matters is the people, the team that you get to work with. And what we found in the Snowflake team was they were always eager, leaning in, e executives coming to support. They had the same vision we had for how we could build directly on the data cloud. And so that it's been a fantastic partnership. I, I love that. Thank you so much for walking us through the journey. Chris, as teams grapple with harnessing AI's true potential, the importance of having the right team to execute is essential. What is your approach to building teams that can rely and deliver on AI's potential? I think of innovation, and innovation is the lifeblood of, of Blue Yonder. When I think of teams, I think of innovation, and we've got over 500 patents that are in process or, or are already granted. And, and to me, real innovation happens when you bring uh, cutting edge technologists with deep domain experts together uh, as one, right? Yeah. And so that's what I'm doing with AI. I'm partnering with all the product teams that have the rich, uh, heritage of that deep domain experts across different industries, because you know, semiconductor is different than auto, which is different than right. CPG. Uh, all those businesses are different. And so by partnering with the warehouse management experts, the transportation, demand and supply planning experts, and I can bring the AI experts, and, and now we have this great, uh, you know, integrated team. And with generative AI, you can go so fast. So I'm, I'm actually saying, hey, I want you to read out to me every week. Let's you ramp know, up. <laughs> ramp up and get a customer. And so we're bringing a customer into here. So it's customer centric. And every week we're iterating and showing the customer and working through problems and delivering at a, at a really fast pace. It's great to hear you're always putting the customer first. Let's continue to explore internally for a moment, if you don't mind, Chris. You work with 19 of the companies that are within the Gartner Supply Chain Top 25. What common challenges are you helping them solve? Customers have a hard time. Uh, it's not easy in the supply chain with geopolitical disruptions and natural disasters and uh, labor shortages and demand spikes. So there's all these things affect their supply chains. And what they really need from us is speed and precision in uh, decision making. And so that's really what we provide is we provide solutions that uh, 
can very rapidly assess the situation and provide that answer that they need that will get them out of that uh, jam, right? And so they they keep coming back to us. They need faster and faster, you know, decisions that are precise and optimal for their environment. And uh, that's that's what AI is allowing us to do. And that's that's really the the big challenge that I think the world supply chains have right now. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure sitting down with you, Chris. As you look out on the coming year, what AI innovations are you most excited about? Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't mean to put, uh, put you in the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many, right, uh, that have happened so, so recently even, you know. But when I think about predictions for AI, what I really am excited to see is AI that uh, affects real life, that, that affects the physical world. You know, because and, and when I think about that, I think about the buzzwords, right, agents and reasoning models and how these things are going to come together. But those things, they operate in the digital world today. And so what we need is we need systems that will help them bridge the physical world. And that's what Blue Yonder's APIs provide. We have all these rich APIs. And when our systems run, warehouses change and trucks move to a different route and orders are shipped. And... So uh, what I think is truly exciting is the potential to have all of that rich AI technology married up with APIs that, that shape the physical world. And I think that's where you really start to see the possibility of autonomous supply chain. Well, Chris, such a pleasure sitting down with you. Thank you so much for your time and your insights. Thank you, Ryan. It's been a pleasure. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.